to the ship in which Lord Castlereagh sailed for the continent, by Thomas Moore, imitated from Horace, Libby, Ode 3. So may my lady's prayers prevail, and Canning's too, and Lucid Bragg's, and Ildon beg a favoring gale from Aeolus, that older bags, to speed thee on thy destined way, O ship, that bearest our castle rig, our gracious regent's better half, and therefore quarter, of a king as Van, or any other calf, may find without much figuring. Waft him, O ye kindly breezes, waft this lord of place and pelf, anywhere his lordship pleases, though twere to old Nick himself. Oh, what a face of brass was his, who first at Congress showed his fist to sign away the rights of man to Russian threats and Austrian juggle, and leave the sinking African to fall without one saving struggle among ministers from north and south to show his lack of shame and sense, and hoist the sign of bull and mouth, for blunders and for eloquence. In vain we wish our sex, at home to mind their papers, desks, and shelves, if silly sex, abroad will roam, and make such noodles of themselves. But such hath always been the case, for matchless impudence of face, there's nothing like your Tory race. First Pitt, the chosen of England, taught her a taste for famine, fire and slaughter. Then came the doctor, for our ease, with Ildens, Chatham's Hawkesbury's, and other deadly maladies. When each in turn had run their rigs, necessity brought in the wigs. And oh, I blush, I blush to say, when these in turn were put to flight, to illustrious temple, flew away with lots of pens, he had no right to. In short, what will not mortal man do? And now, that strife and bloodshed past we've done on earth, what harm we can do, we gravely take to heaven, at last and think its favoring smile, to purchase, O Lord, good Lord, by building churches.